Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk a little bit about the code I'm working on for creating a grid targeting system and a building system inside of Godot 4.1. So this is kind of an extension currently to the Gather RPG tutorial that I was working on. And when I have this code a little bit more fleshed out and usable in a few days, I do plan to put this up on my Ko-Fi page for supporters. So if you want, you can check that out. So let's talk a little bit about what we have so far. So if you look at this scene, it's probably easy to tell uh, that everything you see on the ground is placed by using tiles. So tiles work really good for 2D games, just allowing you to create different environments uh, with reusable assets. But it also allows you to work on a grid. So the tile map grid under it works in 16 by 16 pixel spaces. And so by giving the tile map a world position, uh, you can figure out which tile is basically under the position you're looking at. So in this case, it's the mouse pointer. And I want to show first off which tile the player is looking at, but secondly also uh, whether a tile is considered buildable or not. So that would be for things like if you are uh, just placing an object, like maybe a rock, or if you are digging a farm, or placing an entire house even. So basically, wherever we are looking under the cursor, I'm showing whether a tile is buildable or not. So red is unbuildable, and then green is buildable. So the first check, of course, would be for collision. So if the water is a collision area for the player, as you can see here, uh, then obviously we wouldn't be able to build on something like a tree that already has that kind of collision. But there may also be spaces you just want to make unbuildable. So I kind of figured out that as an option, you can do that uh, by adding another collision layer that is only going to be for building checks, but not actually uh, player collision checks. So as you can see, the player can walk straight through it because um, the collision layer that we're using for unbuildable areas is not one that the player characters check for. So in the top left, you can of course see the debug information showing which tile number on the grid we're looking at. So 00, zero is right over around here. So uh, obviously on a tile map, you can expand to the top left for negative tile positions. 00, zero just happens to arbitrarily be here. And then you can see the uh, position of the center of the tile offset from the world center. And as a third debug information are just the names of anything that is causing a collision uh, for the potential placement of a buildable item. So the tile map, any tile that is unbuildable just shows up as tile map, but other things like player and resources show up as the actual node name. So for actual building up here, clicking test build, you can see that this creates a preview image of the item we are trying to place on the map. Now for something like a house, of course, this would take up multiple tiles. And one of the next things I'm working on is making it so that when you're placing extra large objects that we'd have uh, multiple building area indicators. So for every tile that should be built on, we want an indicator to show if that tile is currently available or not and then to only allow you to build if, of course, every tile under that collision shape is uh, valid. So for right now, though, I don't have the validation implemented. So if I just hit enter, we place that object in the game world. And as opposed to the preview right here, which has no collision, uh, these placed objects in the game world definitely do have their collision. So later, we definitely would not want you to be able to stack houses on top of each other like that because these would collide with each other. But for right now, of course, they can basically be put anywhere until that validation code is implemented. That's basically just a work in progress of the grid targeting building system I'm currently working on. Uh, hopefully in a few days, I'll have something up on Ko-Fi for supporters to go ahead and download and use in their own projects if they want to. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching to the end. Let me know if you like this kind of video in the description. I know it's a little different than what I usually do. But until next time, I'll see you guys in my future Godot video game development content.